Welcome back. We're in the 2013 LX570. We're currently looking at the cruise control. This end cap here is a power button. Over here at the MPH or miles per hour area, you see a little green tachometer. That is your cruise indicator. When you get up to speed, tap the bar down to set. If you want to cancel, bring the bar towards yourself, or if you'd like to resume, pop up. When driving down the road, if you want to add a few more miles an hour to the speedometer, just tap up and do the same to reduce the speed. You can always tap the brake to cancel cruise control or hit the end cap here or the power button, which you'll see when I press it, that little tachometer switch goes away down here. You do have some buttons that are just a little left and down of the start button. Center locking differential. It'll make all the wheels turn at the same RPM under four to five miles an hour. This button here is going to drop your vehicle because it has an air ride suspension. It's going to drop it really quick to allow passengers to get in. RSCA is Roll Side Curtain Airbags. If you're going to take this vehicle off-road, you'd want to turn this switch off in case if you were to hit something very hard like a pothole, you don't have the side airbags deploy. And the power rear door, you can turn that feature off. Start button. Climate control button. So yes, red means hot, blue means cold. And if I show you that on the screen, my temperature is gaining degrees by pressing on the red button and opposite on the blue. But notice that my passenger temperature is at 74 because they too also have the ability to control their side of the vehicle. The back seat passengers again are able to control their side of the vehicle both left and right passengers in the back seat. Climate control by pressing this button here will open up a screen. I can also tap on it to increase the fan speed, the direction of air that I'd like to have come out of the vents. I can have a different vent on the passenger side so if I want to go feet and front air vents, there you have it. The button up here is to turn on the rear climate. So if you wish to have someone say, yep, I'd like it to be a little bit cooler behind me as the driver, they can be down at 70, and the other passenger in the rear seat can be at 81. That is called four zone, allowing each person the control over the vehicle's heating and air conditioning system. By turning that off, now everybody's at 76 degrees because I control the temperature. You notice that between here and here, they're both at 78. I drop it down, there's 77, 76, 75, just by using these two controls if I'm in the vehicle only. But going back to climate, you have a de-icer grid that's going to go underneath your wiper blades, making sure that if you have any ice underneath the wiper blades, this tool will warm up. And this grid underneath the windshield wiper blades are going to warm up and just take care of the ice. Audio. We have kind of like your own virtual jukebox. We have six sets of six, so that means that you can have 36 stations to program. To pro program a radio station, I'm going to show you how easy that is to do. I'm going to go over to FM. What's in the black area here that says FM is going to control the black box here. So if I want to go to a different station, maybe like Z104, I'm going to use the turn dial down here 
it controls the numbers up on the screen find my station put my finger on number one and hold it until the number changes to Z104 now this vehicle also has HD radio when this HD lights up you want to always make sure you look underneath here if it says HD one of two you can hit multicast and another station is going to appear So now I have Z104 that's more of um, pop music and now I have much more of classical music on Z104.2 or HD number 2. I can tag the music if I like to possibly purchase it at a later date. Sound, I can control the bass, mid, and treble. And the DSB is going to be the surround sound if I want that on or off or the automatic sound leveler meaning that if the engine were to be louder than the music the music will gain in decibels so you do not hear the engine now if I hit satellite notice this will turn black and right below here it's going to give you the satellite stations to choose from so if I want to go to my favorite station which is the blues network Louisville, I can put it right underneath Z104 because you're kind of creating a list that you want to listen to. It doesn't all have to be FM, AM, or satellite. It can be a mixture of the three. So now maybe I want to go to AM and I want to listen to some Badger games or other sporting events or news talk. I can go to 1070 or 1310, maybe 1310. Scroll by using this little wheel down here. Go to 1310, place it right underneath so my blue station. So now you have two FM stations, one in eight, both in HD, satellite and AM radio, and back to FM. This puts it where you can have your own jukebox of stations to choose from. Map is going to give you this screen. If you want to do some fun settings, we can go to map mode. We can split the screen and have it be half map, half audio. Dual map. This map over here is going to be much more a sky view of a quarter of a mile out. If I want to go out a little ways more, this is going to be a half mile view. This is going to be 300 feet. This is going to be one mile, so now I can see reference points like the Lake Mendota here, Middleton, and the road that goes up to Sock City. And then I can see more of the turn-by-turn -turn instructions over here. If I wish to mark my location, I can hit mark. A blue flag will appear, letting you know that right where the vehicle sits is going to put a blue flag. If I go here to destination, I go to the blue flag, there is Middleton, Wisconsin, because I flagged it. I delete out the blue flag, select all and delete, and there we have it. 100 of 100 free, where you can mark your location of your vehicle. This feature here, Destination Assist, is a one-year complimentary gift from Lexus. You can be connected to a live operator, and the live operator will say, where do you like to go today? And you can give them a business name, a restaurant name, a city. Like if I were to say Cheeseburger in Paradise in Middleton, Wisconsin, I don't know the address, but I know that much information. They can look up the rest and make sure I get there. If I have addresses of friends, family, or specific business addresses, they can log it in as well. If you're gonna do a multiple route, Maybe you're going to go from here, Madison, Wisconsin, to Dubuque, Iowa, Dubuque to Iowa City, then to Des Moines. You can give them all four different places that you want to visit. They will put them all into the system, into the route um, of your choice. So Dubuque, Iowa City, Des Moines, and let's just say Sioux City, Iowa. Then we've covered the whole state. There's four different addresses. 
they can log it in to that arrangement and off you drive. So that's a pretty cool feature and you can do that while you're driving. This one here you're not able to do while you're driving. You have to click on it, select a state, Wisconsin, city, type it out. Takes a bit more time. Type on only the street name. So if I want to go to um, green, there's green, I hit OK. Then I can put in the number, whatever the house number would be. I'm going to go back to map mode and go back to map only. Show on map. I can do points of interest, gas stations, dining, and hotels. Maybe that's what I like to see. I'm going to zoom out by using the minus sign. And there are all the different icons that show. If I want to go to the Marriott, click on the Marriott. Whoop. The Marriott right here or the Fairfield, I guess it's a Marriott chain, possibly. Hit the information, I go to the Fairfield, and there I go, right to the Fairfield Hotel, just by clicking on the icon. And I may have gotten the icon wrong uh, because I don't know all of my icons, but you click on an icon and you can go right to that specific location, which is pretty neat. I'm gonna edit route, delete, yes, and there are all the icons to choose from. Pretty neat. You got Hardee's. Uh, you got a gas station here, possibly uh, Sinclair. Over here you have gas station. Um, if I were to go in a little bit, it's going to help me navigate so I'm not putting my finger on too many of the icons. So now if I want to go up to the gas station that I was trying to select on, there's your Senex gas station. So there's a lot of cool things that you can do just by using your navigation. Lastly, if you ever want to put in an address, you can come over here to the talk switch. After the beep, say a shortcut menu command. Enter an address. Enter an address. Searching Wisconsin. Say only the city name, or say... Janesville. Janesville. If that's correct, say the... Main Street. Newman. Well, I don't if know my... correct. I don't know my name, actual places in, uh, in Janesville, but you get the hang of it where you can say the address through the steering wheel and it will, actually, it will direct you to the area. Now if I would have picked on a city that I knew a little bit better, I would have been able to get you to the location. But I think that's pretty easy to see. Information is going to be able to show you different traffic incidents along the way, along the road. If, if you happen to be on a road, we're in a parking lot. Um, Fuel consumption tells you how well you're doing. XM gas prices. It shows you all the gas prices. XM sports you can set up to your favorite NFL, NBA, Hockey League, uh, NHL, and Major League Baseball. Put your stocks in or if you'd like to check the weather. Right now it's showing you in the green that we are going to have wind chill. So you might want to dress appropriately when you're out. Over here in Michigan, you got snow or winter storm. So it's letting you know that if you're traveling in that direction, expect delays on the highway. So that's another neat way to use our system. I've gone over by about four minutes on this explanation, but I have about another mm, eight minutes that I want to go over on another video. So please stay tuned.